Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. I'm Martine LaDuke. And we're here at Brooker Creek Preserve to tell you all, all about, about water. water. We are here in Largo and we're going to talk about storm drains and what purpose they serve here in our community and why it's important for us to make sure that we don't put things down in there. Uh, behind me you can see a storm drain. This is where water will collect from the environment and um, any surface water that comes down as rain, if you wash your car, any other source of water that comes through, this is where it's going to kind of filter down. We have two different ways that we collect water when it rains, um, especially during the rainy season it's important because we can flood our neighborhoods, so these do serve a very important purpose. Um, first one is retention, and that's what this is, kind of a retention pond that's holding the water in. As you can see, it's got all the, the wildlife around too, so it's interactive for them. Uh, the other way is a detention, and that's something like you see on the side of the road where it's kind of a little swale, they call that um, like a V-shape where the water is able to collect in there and it will drain down into the ground, ultimately making its way as groundwater and then down to our aquifer. Uh, but you can see the drain that's over there on the side, what happens in our neighborhoods when it rains. Uh, naturally, we want to get that water out. We don't want our neighborhoods and our communities to flood, so this gives that place um, for the water to go and the filter is going to take that water even when we wash our car if we wash our pet the storms that all that's going to filter through here so that's going to go through the drain come into our retention pond and then of course be able to be used later a little bit later we're going to see how that water drains down into these big drainage um, canals and into the retention ponds it's going to look just like it does in your neighborhood where you have at the corners of the streets you'll see where it just kind of goes down into the ground sometimes you may have lost a ball or something or you may have seen critters in and out of there so we're going to see how um, those can directly affect our our area back behind me you can see where there's a filter uh, the pond is very still could be very stagnant if they don't have some kind of filtration or some movement for the water. So that's what this will do. This will have that water kind of get sucked in there when the water level gets a little bit higher. And then there's another area where you'll see where water will bubble up. So they're just keeping that water moving, kind of recycling it in a sense in the pond, just kind of keeping it going. This way we don't have a lot of extra bacteria and maybe water plants that are going to you know, clog the, the surface of the water. So it just continues to keep it a nice little area. Over here we have one of the storm drains where you can see goes down into the ground, not necessarily knowing where does that go, but now we know that it goes out to these little retention ponds. And so everything that gets washed down in there, so again, we're in a community, everything that's used in your yard from fertilizers, pest control, um, anything that you use on your car, your pets, all is going to get washed down in here. So again, we want to make sure just water goes down in these storm drains. We don't want anything else in there because it could potentially harm the environment that we live in. And, and that water can become our drinking water too. So we really have to be mindful of that. What you can do is mark these drains if they are not already marked in your neighborhood. And that's just by contacting Pinellas County Public Works. And they have these little placards that you can get. And it's very simple to put them onto the drain. You just want to use one of their wire brushes. They give you the whole kit. You just kind of brush that down onto the concrete. They have an adhesive, which they also supply. You just clearly put that on the back and then push that down. And then it marks it so that everybody knows, do not put anything down into that drain. This does empty out into the storm drain. I hope you enjoyed learning about the storm drains and again, being responsible in our neighborhoods. This video is brought to you by Pinellas County Schools and Swift Mud, which is Southwest Florida Water Management District. We'll see you next time.